Uh, right now we have our first guest. Uh, Shirley McQueen is the um, Q107 disc jockey, if that's still the proper term, we'll ask her. Um, Shirley is on from 7 till midnight, Monday to Friday. I'm sure you all know her and uh, have seen her uh, before, if not heard her. Welcome, Shirley. Hello, Shirley. Thank you. Possibly the longest introduction you've ever done. <laughs> what? There was <laughs> lots of information. Most circuitous path. Big words. Big, big words. words. Lots of big words. Ed, there's a lot of information I had to get there. Times, <laughs> names, midnight, stations. You should do infomercials. Is that not what this is? You handle information so well. <laughs> okay. How you doing, Shirley? I'm fine, Ed. Thanks for having me back. Well, uh, yeah, this is the first time on the show, but, you know, we've, uh, we've been together. Oh, really? That's right. In the past. Is and that by the way, the yeah. test was negative. <laughs> Excellent. Thanks. Yeah, it was, wasn't well, it? I can go ahead and buy my life insurance. Then. There you go. So, surely you're on 7 till midnight. Surely it, I am. Is that a uh, desirable shift for you? Well, I have no life. Oh, yeah? Is that, is that go right with it? Or you had no life because of it? <laughs> I have no life because of it. Because, oh, okay. you know, 7 to midnight, I, I go into work at 5. I, mm -hmm. I, I'm battling that rush hour traffic, going north, because right. I live downtown, and, and the offices are at Young and Shepherd. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'm, I'm with everybody going home, trying to get to work. And but, you know, I've buried that anger. Well. Yeah, it shows, for too. Rock, for rock and roll. <laughs> and you've given for your... For rock and roll. You've sold great your soul. Shift. Yes, great shift to have because it's when people are out in their cars, going to clubs, listening to the radio, finding out what's going on. Surely provides the information. What's, and, uh, what's on the station? If, if somebody's been in a life. hole and have not listened to... They don't have FM, let's say. They don't have oh. FM. They don't have FM. They still have an eight-track player in their <laughs> yeah. car. Yes. They've got thing. the eight-track. What do we have on this uh, station? It's a rock and roll station. It's rock and roll. We're licensed as an AOR station, which means album-oriented rock. Mm -hmm. So we're playing the deeper cuts, not just the hits, not just the top 40. Now, I alluded to being a disc jockey. Is that a term you use anymore? Um, it, it's kind of an outdated term, but it's still used. I mean, radio announcer, I don't like that term. Radio announcer, like that. you're Walter Winchell. <laughs> exactly. Yes. Radio you know, announcer. I, I'm not, I'm not crying. Wow. Wow. ships at sea and planes at air. <laughs> Why, wow, it's Shirley McQueen. So, um, yeah, personality. But it's a tradition, shocking. isn't it? It's a tradition, so you, yeah, you're never going to get away from that because... DJ, that was the hip DJ, version of it. DJ, yeah. DJ. So do you play a lot of what, Michael Bolton, Wilson <laughs> Phillips? <laughs> Michael Bolton, the man with no neck. No, uh, we play... No talent either. <laughs> I could croon better than him. Would you croon a little bit for All us? Right, croon, croon away, Ed. Sitting on the dock of the bay, wasting time, yeah. wasting time. <laughs> a little more. What's another song? A little more, just a little more of that, same one. No Michael Bolton. No, no. Michael Bolton, how about Wilson Michael Phillips? Bolton. No, no Wilson Phillips. Oh, you gotta have Wilson Phillips. Oh. How else can you induce nausea? <laughs> Do, and what do you need a to little bon Jovi. Nausea, Ed? <laughs> oh, every now and then, Bon Jovi. No, okay, so we play, um, oh, everything from Led Zeppelin to Peter Gabriel to Sinead O'Connor. Do you still play um, Stairway to Heaven every day? <laughs> Is that still a rule if you have a station? No, the song no, just lasts I, so long you think it's every day you heard oh, okay. it. I, I get the let out every night. Now, what do you, yeah. uh, what do you listen to? Oh, gee. Well, I, I like everything. Oh, that's, I knew you were going to say know, I like everything. Oh, yeah. She's I like Bob. Trust me, she I love does. the Beatles. <laughs> Trust no, me, she jazz. likes everything. Right now. Oh, sorry, Ed. What's been in my player this past How week? How about that? If we were to go to your know? house right now and uh, press Check the, for the jewelry. And, and press play on your uh, CD player? Well, yeah, okay. Yes, I have a CD player. What, what would hopefully be it? What would right be in there? Right now, sitting in my CD player, it's one of the most fabulous bands, mm -hmm. Moxie Fruvis. That's, so the, uh, that's the acapella. They're so smart. They're so funny. They're funky. They're wise. They're Toronto band? Yes. yes. Are they a Toronto. band? Do they yes, have any yes. instruments? Oh, yes. Yes. Uh, guitars and drums. Do they have any instruments? Yes. Did you they're actually ask that question? Acapella oh, there group. could be an acapella group. Yeah, but yes, uh, they are. That's what I they understand are. they're guys. So they've all got instruments. What's uh, the matter with you? It oh. always leads to this. And I wonder if they're playing them right now. Uh, they opened for um, Bob Dylan, didn't they not? They did. And yes, the Bare Naked Ladies? Time. Uh, or no, the other, no, what's the other group? Uh, well, uh, what's the other group, like as if there's another group exactly Well, their like big them. show's coming up October 23rd at the Danforth Music Hall. So that's what's in my player right now, okay. Moxie Fruits. But, I mean, uh, That doesn't yeah, really I fit like in everything. with your rock and roll, um... Uh, no, but then, you know, not everything I do is... No. Well, you got Barry Manilow at home, too? Stamped on my Kenny point. Rogers' Greatest Hits? No, I, I listen to lots of what Q107 plays. You know, I listen to... Uh, I've got Temple of the Dog is another one that I Ooh. haven't been able Temple to get of the out dogs. of my player Sounds for like a bar I was at the other night. <laughs>
No, that was the lettuce and... Uh, slug. The lettuce and slug. That's what it was. And I like Mary Margaret O'Hara. I like her a lot. You know, a lot of really different stuff that mm -hmm. Q107 doesn't play, certainly. But good old rock and roll, you still remember? Oh, yeah. Was she in that movie Blue Velvet? No, uh, no. No, no, no. No, deep inside the green door, no? <laughs> I'm thinking of someone else. I'm sorry. Would you sing a little Kenny Rogers for us? Yes. Lady! What about a little Led Zeppelin? <laughs> I'd hope that was the one. Led Zeppelin? <laughs> and she's buying the stairway to heaven. That's kind of pretty, isn't it? But I like the Black Crows. Mm -hmm. You know, I like um, uh, Soundgarden. A lot of the, 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 the new Seattle sound, you know, are, I'm a big fan of What that. are kids calling and asking for these days? Do people call uh, you when you're doing yeah. your shift and say, oh, oh, we're yeah. talking about music here, Shirley. <laughs> and I count down the top 10 of 10, which is the top 10 most requested songs of the night. Most requested, and, okay. Yeah, and November Rain's still big. It's been on there for over a year already, so it's, it's kind of like the Layla of 1991-92. Okay. Um, yeah, so November Rain, Guns N' Roses is on there right now, Temple of the Dog, mm -hmm. uh, Soundgarden, um, Layla from Eric Clapton, the unplugged version, his right. new record, it's on there still. Isn't so, it wonderful oh. how a guy can do a song like 25 years ago and have <laughs> no. the gall to re-release it, make it a new <laughs> album? So people might enjoy it's it. It's not actually, trading on the past at all, is he? What do you, what's, what's on your really CD good. player? On mine? Yeah. Megadeth. Megadeth. <laughs> Creator. <laughs> Their hit song, Pleasure to Kill. You know what? This is one time I'm not going to ask you to sing a little bit. <laughs> nope, no singing. Now, are you, uh, speaking of having no life, you also have to do personal appearances, so it's not just strictly that's right. the that's, time spent on that's air. That's right. I have no life. What type of uh, personal, exper er, personal experiences? What type oh, of uh, well, no personal Well, 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 what are you, Dr. Rue? Personal Rube? appearances. Um, uh, well, uh, like Ted out at the bridal show. Q107 has a booth down there, right. and I go down there and say, hello, brides. Yeah. That's right. And, you know, uh, shake Try a few talk. babies. Try and talk them out of it. <laughs> There's not supposed to be any of those yet, but... <laughs> and uh, and kiss a few hands. And then we give away a grand prize and stuff like that. So stuff like the Toronto Bridal Show, where it all sorts of trade shows So you get to be a hero. You don't, you're not really out there giving people hell or anything. You're, yeah, you're giving them... I'm giving them stuff. I give away stuff. People like to see me coming, because I give away stuff, okay. you know? Well, thank yeah. you very much thank for coming for to uh, join us. And uh, Thanks, Ed. Hey, way, why don't you have me? You come have on, a little uh, stain oh, here, Ed. <laughs> well, you know what that's all about. We're gonna get you? out of here really quick because yeah, why don't you have me? Come on, your show. We'll be right back. Right after this. Thanks. I'll come by. Thank and you sing very much for songs. coming. Thanks. Appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs>